Hi again, it's Punkle1985 with another video. This time I'm going to do three belts in one. And here we go, we'll start off with the first one here, which is the WCW Big Gold. Now as you can see, this is the WCW version. This is just a plain adult replica. Let's have the Sting nameplate. I do have a Hogan nameplate and a plain and engraved nameplate, which I haven't decided what I'd like to get on that yet. I got the big side plates with the grapplers in the middle. Now all the rubies are in this one. I know some people have said that uh, their rubies fall out after some time, but I've had this belt for quite a while now and I've never had any problems but it is just put up on display snap box is there, the, another belt with a very wide strap and you got the globe which is slightly raised as is the crown with all the jewels and then we come across the other nameplate any other snap box? I do actually like this belt. A lot of good champions, other than David Arquette, I guess, have held this belt. So, because I'm doing a lot of these belts together I will probably end up doing in-depth videos of these individually at a later date so that's the WCW Big Gold now the next one here is the WWE Undisputed version 1 <coughs> now this is the oldest belt that I have bought this one when it first came out and it's the, there's no paint jobs or anything and I know that a lot of people have taken off the paint around the side plates and even on the main plate but uh, I myself have left it as is the strap is a little bit worn there as you can see it starts to bubble up a little but as I said this is the oldest one I have the snap box there Chris Jericho nameplate decided to have that one even though he didn't hold this particular belt but he was the first undisputed champion so you could really call this the undisputed belt collection really I suppose I've just given away what the final belt is there but and do excuse me with uh, the banged up voice that I have. I'm suffering from a cold at the minute. So the flexibility in this isn't that bad. Probably due to the fact that I've had it for quite a while. And like you can see the bubble in there. So there's that one. And finally, another eBay purchase of mine, the WWF Attitude Era Big Gold. I was very excited when I got this belt because, well, this was when I was really into wrestling. This was the belt. So as you can see, you've got the all the detailing. Again, this is just a standard adult replica side plate another thing is as well when I bought this one there were no uh, jewels missing and also I did purchase 
from AJS belts. I know a lot of people seem to have had a problem with them, but they served me pretty well. Was the extra nameplate? <clears throat> As I said, I still I want to get this one re-leathered because. As you see, I'll turn it over. The strap wasn't in the best of conditions, as you can see. There's quite a bit of crack in here and here. So, I'm not sure whether this one was displayed or even messed around with, but you know, it, it's not too bad. You know, it could, it could have been a lot worse, you know, at least this. It's all still intact. <coughs> so that concludes the Undisputed Collection video. Thanks again. Cheers.